If this creek could speak in whispers of song or poetry, it might tell the story of the city that it birthed, brought to the light of history, its most extraordinary and perhaps unexpected progeny. These words in part come from my imagination, but in part they come from history itself, and in part they come from the creek herself. I'm John Philip Santos. I'm a writer, filmmaker, South Texas geomancer. You know, my work is in part embedded in the idea of ancestral memory. The Mexicano culture, as, as it's come to be known in the United States, the Mexican-American or Chicano culture, but told through the multiple idioms of Elizabethan English sometimes, a little bit of Rascuache Spanish here and there, and a lot of mythological imagination. My tools are very simple. My tools really are notebooks, very specific sets of Japanese pens that I use in those notebooks. Those notebooks get filled with words that then make their way onto digital devices of various kinds and ultimately make their way into lyrical narratives. The San Pedro Creek Culture Park is a unique achievement. Um, I don't know of any other place in the world really where an undertaking like this has sought to return a city's attention to its own history. The San Pedro Creek Culture Park is meant to be a place where we, in a sense, can experience the epic story of San Antonio's emergence. I was invited to join the enterprise about three years ago. I was a, a mythographer working between the designers and the historians to try to draw forward the underlying mythic narrative that tells the story of San Pedro Creek in deep time, and this humble creek that was the site of settlement for humans going back 10,000 years. It's a kind of reminder of the deep time out of which all of our stories have emerged.